Bracey did well this week. He now strikes us as being much closer to what you would expect from a newborn baby. We've had a lot of fussiness, a lot of crying. I've had a couple really rough nights lately. He's been eating every like two hours, two and a half. Sometimes I get to three. Um, it's a battle to keep him awake and eating until I feel like he's full. I guess my major problem with him, and then I'll talk a little bit about the weight gain in a second, is the sucking factor. He's just sucking on me a lot. And I actually have some blisters, some like dark, I'm not gonna show you guys, but like dark purple blisters on both nipples. And I think it's just too much sucking. You know, it's a lot of sort of trying to listen and figure out whether he's eating and you could hear the sound of the milk going down the throat. So listen for that sound or whether he's just sucking on me and using me as a human pacifier. To be honest, I'm so like overwhelmed with all the other kids, even though they've been so helpful, that during the evening hours, starting about six to 10, he's either like nursing on me or he's sucking. And it's like easier to just walk around with him sucking on me than have him like screaming and crying. Now, that's not a great habit, but I think it's kind of harmless and there's not so much you can do with such a young baby. You know, they really can have these periods of like sucking, fussiness, cluster feeding, which I've talked about a lot in prior weeks, and you just have to kind of get through it. The benefit to when you have these really tricky evenings and babies are often very fussy towards the late afternoon and into the evening, I think for me it can have to do with the fact that I have a little less milk at that point. But one benefit is that once you've been through all that and it's really difficult, I have found that they tend to sleep a little better at night. So that's kind of like the silver lining on the cloud. In terms of Bracey's weight, we really had a great visit on Wednesday. I was very relieved because I had basically cut way back and was only doing one bottle many days. He had gained 160 grams. He now weighs like three kilos, you know, 80 grams. So that's great. We're sort of over the three kilo mark, which means he's getting to be around seven pounds, which is great news. And I was really happy about that. The other thing we've been dealing with is a lot of skin breakouts. His skin has been broken out with baby acne. It's been very dry. It's starting to scale. We have the beginnings of cradle cap that seem to be starting in the forehead, like continuing, you know, back, you know, through the scalp. I did a segment on cradle cap in one of my prior videos that I'll link to here. Um, it's sort of a tricky thing. There are some different remedies that are recommended. Some people like coconut oil, some people swear by breast milk. There are also some wonderful creams. So ask your pediatrician to recommend a really good cream when it comes to your baby's dry skin on their face and also ask him whether you can use it on their scalp. So anyway, that's it for week 11 with your baby. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Stay tuned for some of my how-to videos coming up. I really appreciate it and I will see you back soon on cloudmom.com. Thank you.